So the next part of this this little training class I'm developing here is uh, I'd like to tell you about some of the real estate stuff that we do. So you decide a short sale is for you, and you come to us and we help guide you. Well, it's there's a lot of real estate pieces involved, and then there's also a lot of behind the scenes paperwork, and that we're going to need your help on. The only way a short sale will work is if you are committed to helping us get what we need probably three times. The banks, uh, sometimes they, they need things twice or they need updated records. Um, you've got to be available to answer your phone, to communicate with us throughout the entire process or this will not work. Um, it's, it's a lot of work on both of our parts, but I think you'll find that in the end, you know, it, it helps save your credit and it's definitely a better choice for you and the right thing to do. Um, some of the things that we're going to get and give to the bank, we're going to make a CMA to give them help show them the value. Um, we're going to give a market graph and, a, and a, a cover letter kind of explaining the situation. Um, and then you're going to write a hardship letter that's going to say what got you into this situation and why you have this hardship. Um, it can be a handwritten letter. It's, it's actually better that way. It you know, shows it's from you and from the heart. And, um, you know, and, and, and just be honest. I mean, the bankers want to know, you know what, what happened to you. So, um, and then they're going to need some bank statements, some, your most recent bank statements, and uh, a third-party authorization form, which allows me to be able to talk to the banks on your behalf. We're going to ask the title company for a preliminary HUD, which basically tells the bank how much money they're going to net out of this deal. Um, and when we list the property and we get an offer on the home, we're going to put that in there as well so that we show them we have an offer and then we're presenting this to you uh, to ask you to take less for the home than, it, than is owed. Um, and the buyer, we're going to check the buyer to make sure that they're a good buyer and that they've got... Um, you know, an earnest money check and their, their proof of funds and know that they have the ability to buy that home. And then also the MLS printout and the listing agreement. So you can see it's quite a big extensive packet of paperwork that has to be presented to the bank. Uh, and oftentimes, you know, they, we might miss one piece or something that they need. So um, we've got to get that to them as fast as possible. Um, the, these sales, you know, can take a long time. And the, the faster we can get things on the market and sold, uh, you know, and a good offer on it, the faster we can get that to the bank and have them uh, make an informed decision about your home.